Hey, friendly people, do you want to know the perfect line to introduce yourself to anybody anywhere? Well, too bad, since it doesn't matter, because what you say is so insignificant compared to how you say it. And it's ironic because most people who come to me are obsessed with getting those first few sentences just right instead of how they're presenting themselves. Most people are going to make up their mind about you in 30 seconds or less, and that's going to be primarily based on your nonverbal communication rather than your spoken word. So to prove this to clients, I like to run a social experiment where I take them down a busy street and as we're walking we start to greet people or give them genuine compliments. And often clients will get about 20% of people to respond to them and I'll get about 70% of people to respond to me. Sometimes clients feel initially a little disappointed because they feel like I have something that they don't. And that's where things get interesting because I start to completely change the way that I present myself and I go from like hey I love your scarf to hey I love your scarf. My response rate immediately changes and it goes from that 70% all the way down to 20% or less. And that's a real aha moment for a lot of clients because they finally accept that they can drastically change the way that people perceive them by how they put themselves out into the world. I even used to run another experiment where if I was out with a guy and he couldn't talk to anybody that night and he couldn't figure out what to say, then I'd walk over to groups and say things like, hey, do you guys like fruit salad or what's your favorite dinosaur? And it would show that people would still be excited to talk to me and could have engaging conversations regardless of what I said. Hey, if you're liking this video, could you just quickly hit the like button so it gets recommended to other people? Thanks. So what is it that people are looking for from you to make a strong first impression? Well, honestly, it's just kind of a gut feeling that they have, which usually stems from you appearing warm, confident, and present. And so let me quickly teach you two ways to showcase those values. First is adopting the mindset that people want to talk to you. Because if you don't believe that, it's going to sabotage everything that you do. Because you'll walk over with your head down, feeling like you're going to bother people or weird them out, and you're just going to be all closed off, and it's going to make people feel uncomfortable, and you'll prove yourself right. Instead, you've got to believe that you are adding value to people's lives, and that they want human connection. Not everyone, but in general, many, many, many people want to meet new friends, romantic partners, and no one wants to be alone. So as long as you're just trying to be friendly and get to know somebody and you have no bad intentions, you have nothing to feel bad about. So when I see somebody that I want to talk to, I remind myself that I'm just trying to be friendly, get to know them, and I want to make their day a little better. And if they don't want to engage, you'll know quickly and it's usually pretty normal and polite and then you wish them a good day. And the second thing is to practice strengthening your nonverbal communication. So you could practice having a natural smile when you walk up to people improving your body language by standing tall but relaxed and open getting good at eye contact especially those first like five or ten seconds when you introduce yourself improving your voice by speaking with more clarity energy and from your chest learning to gesture with your hands and being a little bit more animated with your face or showing more enthusiasm by raising your energy levels a little bit or doing things like leaning in to show curiosity and nodding your head in agreement and to demonstrate that you're listening now if you want practical tips on how to implement all these nonverbal ideas then check out our playlist here where it has tons of videos breaking that down step by step. So let's say you want to improve your eye contact. You can just start by looking at people very briefly while they're walking past you. Then maybe you start trying to make eye contact with working people like cashiers or baristas. Then you start holding eye contact with someone across the room for like a second and even it could be somebody that you're attracted to. And finally you try to hold eye contact with that person until they break it first. You don't have to do this all at once. Just pick one area you want to work on and start practicing it little by little. That exposure and experience will build confidence and soon enough it'll become an ingrained habit and then you can add in other pieces. And if you're still stuck in your head and struggling to talk to people, then check out my video here where I'll teach you a technique to overcome your nervousness even from the comfort of your home. Take care and love your fellow humans.